In this problem, we're talking about a water balloon being thrown in the shape of a parabola and a dart being thrown uh, in a straight line. And I'm trying to make a graph to see where these two things cross. So that's what we're doing in part A. Um, the equation of the line is no big deal. Um, I do want to make a table of values for the equation of um, our parabola. And in the past lessons, we've told you to figure out the middle of your table by doing negative b over 2a. This one is a little bit different because it's an application. Um, we're talking about it being thrown at time zero, and then it's, at some point it's going to hit the ground. So it's a little bit strange, but what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're always going to start at x equals zero, and then we're going to use as many x values as we need until we get back to zero. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my calculator. Um, so I'm going to go back to y equals, clear out anything that's in there, and I'm going to type in negative x squared um, plus 6x. And I'm going to go to the table, and I want to start where my x value is 0. Um, so you can see that it's, I'm going to start at 0, 0, which makes sense. We're starting at time 0 and height 0. And then I want to keep going until my y value gets back to 0. So it looks like I'm going to start my, y, my x values at 0, and I'm going to stop my x values at 6. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just copy down these numbers into a table so that we have them right next to us as we're trying to graph. All right, so I'm going uh, from 0 to 6. And then the y values are 0, 5, 8, 9, 8, 5, 0. So what these numbers mean is my x values are telling me how many seconds um, these things have been in the air, and then the y value is telling me how high they are off the ground at that time. So I'm going to start by graphing um, my parabola. So I have 0, 0, 1, 5, um, 3, 9, I'm sorry, 2, 8, I skipped over one, 3, 9, 4, 8, 5, 5, and then 6, 0. So right here, this last dot I just plotted, that would be where uh, the water balloon hits the ground. So I'm going to connect all these dots, okay? And then to do my um, straight line to represent the path of the dart is not a big deal. My uh, y-intercept is 6, 6, and then my slope is negative 1. So I'm going to go down one, right one, and you can see automatically it already hits the, the path of the water balloon. And I'm just going to keep going down until I get to the x-axis, and it actually hits it again. So they would actually hit the ground at the same time. So I'm going to connect these dots here. Okay, so that would represent the path of the dart. So that's part A, so we're done there. Um, and then it says list the points where the paths cross. Okay, so um, it crosses here, and it crosses here. And those ordered pairs are 1, 5, and 6, 0. Now part C says solve it algebraically. So we have a system of equations. Uh, we were given both of them um, in the original problem. So I'm going to solve it algebraically. And as long as we do this correctly, we should come out with the same answer. Because it's the same problem, just solved in a different way. So what I'm going to do is basically set the, the two things equal to each other. So I'm going to say um, negative x plus 6 equals negative x squared pl uh, plus 6x. And then I'm going to move everything to the right. Normally I like to put my quadratic on the left, but because it's negative, I'm putting it on the right, and that way we can move it and it will become positive. So I'm going to add x squared to both sides, and it's going to go all the way off to the side. And then I'm subtracting 6x from both sides. So I would have x squared minus 7x plus 6, and then everything on the right cancels out, giving me 0. Um, now our next option, um, and I'm going to choose to factor because it's easier, uh, but you could do quadratic formula. But I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 7. That would be negative 6 and negative 1. So this would factor into x minus 6 and x minus 1. Now I'm going to set each thing equal to 0. So x minus 6 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. When I solve each of those, I'm going to get x equals 6 and x equals 1. So I know that I'm going to get two answers. 6 is going to be the x value of the first point, and 1 will be the x value of the second point. 
and now I have to plug those in to either one of my two equations um, and it's going to give me my y values. So I'm going to choose to use uh, this equation because it's simpler. So I have y equals negative x plus 6. So that gives me 0. So my point would be 6, 0, um, which matches this point right here. And then my other equation, y equals negative x plus 6. And that would give me 5. So my other point is 1, 5, which is this point right here. So you can see in two different ways we solved the equations, uh, the system of equations, and we got the same answer both times.